everyone and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen and today we are not making soap. We are going to make some body butter kits from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They sent me this cute t-shirt also, <laughs> which I think is fabulous. Um, but I am so excited to get into these kits. If you have never made a body butter or a lotion product, I think buying a kit to start with because you get all the ingredients and the directions are very clear format. It's a great way to start DIY body butter things. So today we're gonna to be making a whipped shea butter, I have to look at my notes, and a blushing body butter. And they're both pre-put together kits from Wholesale Supplies Plus. We'll do a cost analysis breakdown. They send you the jars, all the ingredients, the fragrance, everything you need to make these products. Um, so I'm really looking forward to making them. And I think that a homemade product as a gift or just for yourself is fabulous. When you made it with your own hands, you know exactly what's in it. When you give a gift of a homemade product, it really speaks love to the person you're gifting. So I just think it's great all over the place and I cannot wait to get in here and get into these kits. And they sent me these and said that I could choose which one I wanted to make a video out of. I could not decide, we're doing both today. <laughs> so we're just gonna have a buttery, luxurious time digging into these ingredients. And we will talk more about the kits again once we get into each one. I can't wait to dive in, so let's get to it. Let's make a couple of really luxurious skincare body butter kits. All right, so before I uh, get into the unboxing or showing you what Wholesale Supplies Plus sent me. This is a picture of one of the kits we'll be doing, the Whipped Shea Butter Lotion Making Kit. And this makes, let's go down here, product details. It'll tell you everything about it. It makes 12 jars of whipped shea butter, which is awesome. And it gives a list of ingredients, gives all the information you could possibly need. And down here, there's people that have asked questions, reviews, photos, and here is recipes and videos. I have this tab already open. And right there is detailed instructions on how to make this um, whipped shea butter that we're going to make today. So here again is the list of supplies that they send you. And then here is the actual recipe. And it tells you the equipment that they recommend here. And then step-by-step -step instructions. It's just so inclusive. Everything you need to know is right on the page here. Easy to find. And I want to point out really quick right here. Wholesale Supplies Plus always has a great sale going on on different things. They rotate the things that are on sale. So always check out their sales. I do. It's great. And then over here, they have so many recipes that are free. Um, it's just such an extensive library. Uh, so click on the recipes and resources information if you go check out their website. There is so much stuff in under here. I'm not even get into it today. We'll do, maybe we'll hunt down some recipes and try them just off the cuff another time. But here is the whipped shea butter. Let's jump on over here to the blushing, whoops, blushing body butter kit. This one we're also doing today. Doesn't that look scrumptious? Um, and again, here are the product details. It, we're gonna use cranberry butter in here. This is the list of ingredients that you need to make this. And then you scroll down and recipes and videos. I already have the tab open. And here it is again, step-by-step -step instructions how to make this. Okay, let's take a look at the whipped shea butter kit here. Everything came in a big box, um, just all the ingredients and the box was kind of huge and it didn't fit in my screen very well. So I figured I'd take it all out. So this kit, this whipped shea butter kit costs, let's see, $58.55, which when you break that down is about $4.90 per jar here. I did a quick Google search for uh, sh whipped shea butter, just, you know, purchasing it. And I saw everything from $17 for a two ounce jar up to $40 for a two ounce jar. This is an all natural product. There's no preservative in here because there's no water phase. So I think $4.90 a jar is a really fair price. And um, they didn't ship, you know, you, no labels come with this. This is for personal use, or if you want to label this, they have labeling instructions and how to list your ingredients. So um, labels didn't come, but the jars, these are double walls, so they're insulated to help keep your products stable and cool and uh, less prone for melting, and a nice lid that goes on here, and it does have the foam liner already in there. So you get 12 jars, you get two pounds of beautiful refined shea butter. It comes with grapefruit essential oil, 
which we're going to use to scent this. Again, this is an all-natural product we're making, which I love. So grapefruit essential oil comes in the kit. And then what's next here? We have our vitamin E oil that we'll be adding in there. And then this is a new to me ingredient that they sent. It's called Slick Fix. It's an oil locking powder. So this is supposed to cut the uh, greasy feel in your body butter because some people love the buttered up feel and other people really don't like that really heavy feel. So I am really looking forward to using this. It says right here what it actually is. It's got a fancy name. It is tapioca starch. I've used arrowroot powder um, when I make my own homemade body butter, but this tapioca starch is what we're using today, and I think it's going to have the same effect. It just cuts that, you know, heavy feel. So that's in there. Give you a little beaker to mix things in, which I think is great, and they give you a hair net because if you are going to be making these to market, you need to sanitize everything, have your hair in a net, a mask on your face, gloves on your hands. If you're making body products, cleanliness is an absolute must. So I think the hair net is a great uh, thing that they threw in there. So this is all the ingredients that we need to get going. So this doesn't have any color in it. It's just gonna be a natural whipped shea color, which I think is awesome. All right, before I get to sanitizing, I don't wanna forget our other body butter craft that we're doing today. And this is the blushing body butter kit. And for this one, they send you two pounds of cranberry butter blend and boy, this looks rich. I love it. So we're gonna use two pounds of cranberry butter uh, and you know, I'm just running down the checklist. And for the jars here, these are nice, hefty, wide mouth, eight ounce jars. Really easy to scoop out your body butter in here. You get five jars. This is gonna make five jars, but these are big, hefty jars. Love that. Um, for the fragrance that goes with this kit, you have cashmere glow fragrance oil and this smells really, really nice, I tell you what. I'm looking forward to using one of these. Also, we'll be coloring this body butter kit and they send you a little tiny bit of sexy pink slippers mica powder, which is so pretty, and it kind of just is gonna amp up the cranberry because this already has a pink tone to it. Love that. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, so we need vitamin E oil is going in here and we have some safflower oil. And they send you, what you need for that. And then we got a tapioca starch. So again, this is gonna cut the heavy buttery feel um, and make it have a little drier finish on your skin. So that's one of the ingredients in here. They sent a little beaker, again, a hair net for sanitizing. And uh, for this one, let's talk about, this kit is a little more expensive, but I think this cranberry butter is a pretty expensive ingredient. Um, this is $110 for this kit with five of these jars. And if you break that down, it's 20, let me look here, <laughs> about $22.10 for a big eight ounce jar of shea butter, of whipped cranberry body butter. And um, I think that is in the normal range. So I'm gonna still call it a fair price. It's not a great price, but I think these jars would be worth it. And again, no labels. So if you want to sell this or have it labeled as a gift, um, you need to provide your own labels, but they do tell you how to list the ingredients on your label if you are gonna label these. So, all right, those are both kits. Let's get sanitizing and uh, get ready to make our first one. We are back and ready to make our whipped shea butter. And so a couple of uh, items that you need from home is you're gonna need a scale, some sort of a bowl, and a mixer if you want to fluff it up. Um, I like a fluffy whipped, that's the whipped and whipped. So anyway, standing mixer and let's get to it because they sent you two pounds of shea butter, but you don't need all two pounds. We'll get into this here. I have my um, directions right off screen here that I'll be reading out loud with you. I'm gonna get my bowl up here and tear it out. And we need 30 ounces of the shea butter here. So let's get that in the bowl. And they are suggesting to microwave this. I am comfortable using the microwave. Um, if you don't like the microwave, you could certainly do this in a double boiler, uh, if that, but use a bowl that would be safe to do in a double boiler. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so I've got this teared out. We're gonna do 30 ounces of our shea butter in here. Go. 
and there's just a little bit left over that you could use for another project, maybe some lip balm or something. All right, so now the directions say to take our shea butter and microwave it for 60 seconds, uh, and if needed, and heat in 15 second increments until it is soft but not melted. So I'm gonna go do that, and we'll be back when it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. All right, I pulse this in the microwave for a minute, and now it says to whip it, uh, until it's frosting consistency before we move on to our next ingredients. So let's see if it's soft enough. Yeah, I think it is. So I'm gonna start whipping this. Uh, yeah, it says hand mix butter until it has a frosting consistency. All right, let's get to it. Okay, let's get our scale back over here. Tear it out, and now that, uh, add vitamin E and the essential oil and the slick fix. So first thing is we need 0.5 ounces of vitamin E oil. That's half an ounce of vitamin E. And then the essential oil, we need 0.15 ounces of our grapefruit. And I'm gonna use a pipette to measure this in here because that's a very tiny amount. So 0.15. Oh, that smells good. I do love a citrus essential oil. All right. And the nice thing is I've got quite a bit left in here. This is a two ounce jar that they send with this kit and I only use 0.15 ounces of essential oil, so I have almost two ounces of essential oil left over, which is fancy. I love that. All right, and now we need 0.3 ounces of Slick Fix, which is our tapioca starch <laughs> with a fancy name. So let's get this opened if I can with my gloves on. That's always a challenge. There we go. Take the scale out and 0.3. go and now it says to continue to whip product until smooth and fluffy and then we'll get to weighing out and filling each jar That is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love that. I'm trying to decide if I wanna pipe this into the jars or just spoon it in. Oh boy, that's a nice piping consistency. I think I'm gonna go grab a piping bag and put it in there. All right, just for fun, I popped on my Atika 388 little swirly tip, just, you know, cause why not? This is so beautiful. And this grapefruit essential oil smells divine. And uh, after we get these piped in the jars, I'll give you a little test. I wish you could feel it with your own hands. So what I need to do now is get my jar up here and tear out the scale. And it says to fill the jar to 2.4 ounces. So these are almost gonna be two and a half ounces when they're full. That's a nice, generous amount of beautiful body butter. So let me get my piping bag full here. It's a little messy. You know, and if it's too messy, I might just uh, spoon it in. Again, this is just, you don't have to pipe your, your shea butter. You can spoon it in and it's beautiful, but I thought this would be fun because it's such a nice, it's like buttercream consistency. It's kind of glorious. I'm really liking it. Let me shake this down. There we go. Make a little room in there. Let's see how this goes. And again, this is all natural no preservatives and no colors it's just the shea butter and a couple of extra little bells and whistles and some essential oil i mean that's divine i think this kit is super handy you see how quick this is you could do this you know it says on the kit time it's a half hour uh, time to make this so that's pretty quick all right here we go we've got 
my scale zeroed out, let's put 2.4 ounces in here, they say. go look at that and this is this is thick isn't that beautiful all right let me get the rest of these filled in and then we'll come back and uh, take a closer look at it sorry about the glare on here I wish you could there we go get this out of the glare my lighting situation is a little rough sometimes Before I get the caps on here, my hands got gooey, so I figured I would just rub it in and talk you through how it feels on my skin. Uh, it's very buttery, definitely a body butter, but boy, that is nice. And that grapefruit essential oil smells wonderful. This would be a perfect product for somebody with really thirsty skin. And because it's all natural and it's just shea butter, a little tapioca starch, if you wanted to deep condition your hair with a shea butter, I think you could even do this. Put this on the tips of your hair, anything that's dry and rough. This would be wonderful like after a pedicure on your heels and elbows. Um, so yeah, coming into winter, I think this is divine. It's, it is a very slick, it's a buttery feel, um, even with the tapioca starch in there, the slick fix but oh, it's nice, it feels luxurious. If you slathered up in this after a hot bath and steamed and let it soak in, oh my word, you would be a soft person. <laughs> anyway, I'm loving it. So I'm gonna go wipe my hands down a little so I don't get everything all greased up and get the lids on these and we'll talk about labels and get to our next kit. All right, I just went and printed out some labels, really cute to go on top of these lids uh, for this size jar. Here's what I'm using. It is a two and a half inch round from Avery. Uh, there we go, I think that's the label size. Anyway, and I used avery.com to design the label and so I have my logo at the top. What it is, it's a grapefruit whipped shea butter. I have the ingredients listed in descending order and the weight of the product. And there it is. So we did get 12 jars here. Um, and I think, let me see here. So like this jar, if I had been making these on my own, I probably would have used the full 32 ounces of shea butter. If I did this again, I'd use all the shea butter just to plump it up a little. These just look a little um, you know, shallow to me. I would fill them a little fuller, but we did indeed get 12 jars and they are, each one is well over 2.4 ounces. Some of these are closer to three ounces. Some are 2.6 ounces, but we did get the amount of jars they said. It is absolutely beautiful and luxurious. My skin feels fabulous, let me say that. <laughs> so let's get these jarred up here so that they're all good and sanitary and all the good stuff. And there they are. Now, again, this is wide enough where, um, on several of my other lotion videos, I use a one and a half by five inch strip label. That would fit on here. You could do a you know, side label, but I had these two and a half inch rounds and I thought they looked perfect. So there she be. All right, let's get these lidded up. All right, we are back to do our next kit. And so the directions say to put both one pound jars of the cranberry butter into the bowl and we're going to warm it up just a little so we can again whip it with our blender there so let's go ahead and do that i'm so excited to use this butter all right so that i had to switch to a bigger bowl and the directions did say to you use a large bowl so here's my large bowl and it said to soften up the uh, cranberry butter in the microwave for 30 seconds and again if you don't like the microwave use a double boiler but just to soften it up because this is very stiff i tried to get it out with my spatula and i had to use my ice cream scoop to get it out of the jar it was very stiff so i did soften it now we're going to come in and whip it until it's fluffy that's what the directions say so let's get to it I 
think that looks pretty fluffy. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is to add some of the additives in here, which is 0.5 ounces of safflower oil here. So that's half an ounce. And then it says to add 0.4 tablespoons of tapioca starch. So 0.4 tablespoons. I'm not sure how to read that, half a tablespoon. I'm gonna call it like a teaspoon because um, they converted from ounces to different measurements. So we'll call it about a teaspoon of this tapioca starch. Let me get this open. Here's my handy dandy baby spoon. So I'm gonna do like that much. That looks about a teaspoon to me. We're gonna call that good. <laughs> so uh, let's see, the next ingredient is 0.6 milliliters of vitamin E oil, which is, here we go. So it's a very tiny amount of vitamin E oil, but it is in there. I'm just gonna add a touch more because I'm not happy with that amount. Let's just play it by ear. There we go. That looks better to me. We'll call that good. Um, and then the last ingredient is 0.8 ounces of cashmere glow. So just under one ounce of this beautiful fragrance. Okay, and now the next step is to get all of this blended together before we add the color. And it says the color is optional. You can add up to two tablespoons, which is the entire bag, into here or less or none. I'm gonna add maybe half. I think, I don't know, I don't want this to be too bright, but I definitely want that blushy color. So let's get this blended first, then we'll add our colorant. All right, now it's time to add our colorant, and it says don't just plop all the colorant in, you wanna sprinkle it around and kind of stir it so it doesn't poof up and plume up in your face. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's see get as much as I can on my baby spoon and I'm just gonna sprinkle this around. Gosh, that looks really close. That looks really good, I think. Let's try that and see how we like it and then we can always add some more. Also, I wanted to note that in the directions here, it says that cranberry butter blend has a naturally lumpy consistency and so not all of the little lumpy bits will um, blend out and that it doesn't affect, it says it doesn't affect its performance. So it's not gonna be 100% smooth, but when you rub it into your body, you'll smooth those lumps out. So now I'm gonna take my blender and sort of just mix this a little so that it won't poof. And as soon as I feel like most of the dry bits are covered, let's blend it up. just talk about how beautiful this is oh my goodness and I've got to get the edges there I kind of like the swirly look oh my word this is luscious it is piping consistency so I'm gonna pipe my jars again that helps reduce the mess you can definitely spoon this into jars in fact the directions say spoon it into your jars but I've got my piping bag and my tip there I'll use the same tip that I used in the body butter oh my word this is like marshmallow fluff I am so happy with this. All right, let's get it in the piping bag and start jarring it up. All right, we are back and the directions say to fill the jar up to eight ounces for each of these. So let's get to it. Can we just take a minute and look at how beautiful these are? This is so pretty. I scooped out the bowl. I have a little I'm gonna try here with you. Um, these did not fill the eight ounces. These are eight ounce jars, but I could only fit about six and a half ounces in each of these, and then that was it. So um, I didn't get five eight ounce jars. I got five six and a half ounce jars or a little more, but um, it's still wonderful. So. Let me try this, this is my first time trying, and I don't see or feel any lumps in that cranberry butter. 
Oh my, this feels nice. This is a little less uh, buttery feeling than the shea butter we made, but still very rich. This would be great for super dry, thirsty skin. Gosh, I actually like the finish feel of this a little better than the shea butter, just because it's a little lighter. Um, I feel like it would be a little bit faster absorbing. But again, this is a butter. This is very buttery. So um, if you want it to absorb completely in your skin and be dry to the touch, this probably isn't the product for you. But if you love a good moisturized buttery feel or you have extra dry cracked skin, I think this is great. And you can see that the um, pink mica did not leave any sort of cast on my skin so it's not going to color your skin or anything it just makes it look beautiful in the jar um, i'm not picking maybe a little iridescence maybe a little glow if you wanted to make your arms look extra dewy and glowy if you're in a short sleeve or a sleeveless top this might be beautiful so anyway let's get to the labels and the lidding of these all right it's time to put the lids on here and wholesale supplies plus the invoice says five straight edge lids and they sent me one dome lid and that's okay it still fits on the jar and I think it's pretty so five lids and again here is my label it's got the name of my shop what is this product there and the list of ingredients in descending order according to the list on wholesale supplies plus and then the weight of the product um, and I had written eight ounces on there but these are only six and a half luckily these are for friends and family so they'll forgive me the eight ounces but please write the correct weight on your label if you are going to market these so here they are let's get the lids on cashmere glow blushing body butter this was a fun one to make so quick and easy and you would have a luxurious gift to give someone beautiful for self-care or you could sell these in your shop I think they're fantastic all right, well, let's wrap up this sort of longish video, but so worth it. We got two gorgeous, amazing products made. I'm so happy with these. Thank you to Wholesale Supplies Plus for sending me these kits to play around with. I have enjoyed this very much, and I highly recommend the ease of making. The instructions are so complete, and you just get a divine product at the end of it all. So I think these are fantastic. Two thumbs up from me. Thanks to Wholesale Supplies Plus, and uh, I will leave links down below for everything we made today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.